Hey guys, sorry for any background noise, but, you know, that's what you get. Can't really do anything to fix it. So today I'm going to be doing a video on sort of logarithms and how they relate to electronics and how electronics can relate to you. So, as you can see, this is sort of what's defined as a logarithm. Log of b x equals x equals to b why well, something like that I don't know I can't really remember it but basically anything um, it, it's a very slowly going up scale so normally this is be a linear line and this would be like logarithmic so pretty pretty slow something like that anyway the way it works is that um, one would just be one right this is this would be like times or talking over the camera or something one would just be one the log so log and we're just going to use a normal 10 scale log just because of the log 10 of 1. The log of 10 is going to be equal to 2. Okay? So, and then the log 10 of 100 is going to be equal to 3. So as you can see, it's, it's a pretty simple system. You know, it just goes up like this. So it's the amount of zeros plus 1. So in this case, you know, it, it, as long as the first number is one, so this zero, there's one zero, that's two. So basically, at, by every power of ten, so you know it goes up. You know, so one would be one, ten would be two, hundred would be three, thousand would be four, etc. Like that. So five hundred would be three point five. So this, the way it's useful to you guys is that say you're designing an amplifier circuit with an op amp, right? and you're configuring the op amp to have its gain and you don't know what it is well say you have an audio signal that's I don't know for our intents uh, 0.1 volts if you amplify that to 1 volt okay peak to peak we could just say peak to peak peak to peak okay a 1 volt signal peak to peak versus a 0.1 volt signal is only going to be twice as loud despite being 10 times higher because you can think of it as doing the log of 1 which is going to give you 1 versus the log of 0.1 which is going to give you something lower than 1 so if you have a 1 volt signal and increase it to a 10 volt signal to your ear it will only appear twice as loud your hearing is logarithmic so if you have a 1 volt signal 1 volt signal versus 10 versus 100 volts then you're going to see this is going to be 1 times loud this is going to be 2 times loud this is going to be 3 times loud now if you're wondering decibels the measure the, the way we measure sound in decibels decibels are logarithmic okay decibels are logarithmic so if your gain on your op amp is one you're gonna get one times loud If your gain is 10 it's going to be twice as loud okay keep that in mind so you might think that your hundred time times gain op amp is gonna be super loud no it's gonna be three times as loud as a one time gain op amp okay so keep that in mind also vision is logarithmic say say I had one light right I had one LED that would be one times bright. If I had two, it would only be 1.1. If I had 10, it's going to be 10 times, it's going to be twice as bright. Because there's 10 LEDs, right? So this would be one times, so one LED would be one times bright. Two would be 1.1. Three would be 1.2. Four, four would be 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.2. Okay, so I take that back. This would be 1.2 or something like that. It's going to be in the middle. But, you know, so obviously five LEDs is not five times as bright to your eyes as one, it's like 1.5 times as bright. Two times as bright would be 10. So, in fact, if, if you're looking outside and outside you're like, wow, it's like twice as bright, well, actually, that'd be the equivalent of hundred of ten times the lights 
in your house. If you look outside, you say, well, it's three times as bright, and, you know, your brain realizes it's actually three times as bright, then there's a hundred times more power than the lights in your house. So keep that in mind. So keep in mind that hearing and vision are logarithmic, meaning that if you have a one-time gain op amp versus a ten-time gain ten times gain op amp, ten times gain op amp is only going to appear twice as loud. If you have one light versus ten lights, ten lights is going to look twice as bright. So keep that in mind. It's it's like pretty, you know I mean it can it can be annoying, but you know, that's the way it works, so just keep in mind that your like one thousand gain op amp is only three times louder. Three times louder, granted, is pretty loud. You know, that's the um, that's like a hundred that's like ten decibels versus thirty decibels. Ten decibels pretty hard to hear. Now, 30 decibels is more like this. And 300 decibels, I can't even get that loud. If I yell, yelling is about 100 decibels. Keep in mind that decibels are logarithmic, though. So, 300 decibels is going to be three times, is going to legit be three times louder than 100 decibels. Whereas if decibels were not logarithmic, three, 300 would be like 1.3 times. So, Keep that in mind, that decibels are indeed logarithmic. So your TV that says negative 30 decibels, I don't know what's up with that. It's not actually negative 30. I, you can't really have negative decibels. But your TV, if you set the decibels 30 higher, if you set the decibels to go from 10 to 30, it's going to actually be three times louder. Okay? Now, it's you, you probably can't judge twice and three times louder very good, but keep in mind that 10 lights will be twice as bright as one light. 100 lights will be three times as bright. 1,000 lights will be four times as bright. A one-time game op amp will be one times as loud. A ten, time, ten times gain op amp will be twice as loud. 100 will be three times as loud. 1,000 will be four times as loud. So that's the way the world works, all right? Enjoy now realizing that your ten times gain op amp won't be very loud. Twice as loud, but if the input signal is unhearable, then you might get, like, a barely hearable signal. Like I've I've encountered that problem before. I had a, I was building a small guitar amp for my brother as a present because he plays guitar, and I had a, a 99 times gain op amp. And the signal coming in obviously if you just put a raw guitar signal like if this is your guitar you know right here a very bad guitar and you have the cable and you just put it right to a speaker right it's going to be not hearable nothing. If you put a 10 times gain op amp, you probably won't hear anything because that's going to be twice as loud. So twice as loud as almost nothing is going to be twice almost nothing, which is still almost nothing. So you would really need like a thousand times gain op amp, and maintaining the correct amount of current at that is very difficult if you want to drive anything. Like the the 99 times gain op amp for coming directly to a guitar produces something that's maybe about like this loud. It's pretty quiet. Like you can actually strum the strings louder. Okay, it wasn't very loud. I thought it was going to be like, boom, like blow your head off loud, but it wasn't because obviously I didn't know at the time that hearing was logarithmic. Keep in mind that the vision is too, so I didn't know that when I built my, you know, 10 LED array for lighting up stuff. It was it was pretty bright, but it wasn't, you know, super bright because it's, it only looked twice as bright, whereas I thought it would look 10 times as bright. So just keep that in mind that, you know, vision and hearing are logarithmic. Thanks for watching. Bye.